Good morning. Welcome to the Stephen School Alchemy YouTube channel. I just woke up a few minutes ago. My phone alerted me that uh, a package had arrived. Uh, something I've been waiting for. It took a while to get here. Um, it's for my upcoming alchemy experiments and my distillation equipment. I've got new distillation equipment. So the phone alerted me and I went out front and it was right outside my front door. This package I'm gonna open it up. Sound asleep, dreaming. Interesting dreams lately. two things in here. There we go. 500 ml flat bottom round flask. 2440 ground joints. And what goes on to that? My Alembic distillation head. Nice. Interesting. And there's the clamp stand, in case I need that. Now the second package. Second thing that was in that package. Another 500 ml flat bottom round flask. That's going to be the receptacle. And as I uh, proceed with experiments, of course, I'm going to add more pieces of equipment. So I'll probably end up with a few different sizes of these. I got the 500 ml this time. I was going to get the 1000 ml to put here under the distillation head, um, but the current price when I was looking was really high. The prices fluctuate. And the price was so high, uh, and in comparison to the 500 ml, the difference in price was so great that I decided at this time I'll go ahead and get the 500 ml sizes and then. I'll get a larger one later when the price comes back down towards planet Earth. So here's the uh, another package I received this one um, probably about a week ago, and I just uh, haven't opened it yet. I know what's in it. It's another piece to this distillation setup from Stony Lab. I'll throw some links in the um, description of these pieces. So you can find them easily. And this piece is uh, a bent adapter. 
2440 ground joints. And it has this so you can add a, um, a vacuum if I want. If not, I could leave this open or even cap it off, but I'm going to leave it open because um, when you read old alchemical manuscripts, you might notice a lot of them say, oh, the glass has to be sealed. It has to be sealed. You put a liquid in the glass, you have to seal it, and then perfectly sealed, and then, and then add heat, right? And if you've ever done experiments, you might realize that that builds pressure and causes the glasses to burst. So, um, I like a little vent, one way or another. A little vent. So I can put this on the end here if I need it. And add this. And then if I need to, I can use the clamp stand. The clamp stand came with this weird adapter and it's for uh, this thing mounting it to the pole. I may or may not need it for this exact setup, but uh, as I start adding more pieces to the, to the distillation train in the future, it probably will become necessary to start having some clamp stands. I also have some keg clamps here that I purchased. So this uh, laboratory clamp stand will help keep things secure, prevent the falling over. And I have some more rings that I can add to it. So, uh, because I'm considering adding a uh, separatory funnel for the separation of uh, plant oils, like this Echinacea purpurea. I wanted to extract and separate the oil. And here are the tech clamps. Open them up. There they are. Eight of them.
them, as you probably know, they go on the on these joints, they clip on these joints. To lock the pieces together. So with the kick clamps in place and the clamp stand in place, my uh, distillation setup shall be pretty secure. And there it is. It won't be long and I'll be doing some experiments and making more videos. Subscribe for updates. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.